he focused back on the girl. Stitches were definitely in her future. An idea crossed his mind. He sat beside her on the bed and stripped away his left glove. Let's see you take a swing at me this time, he said with a smirk. Kane held both of her hands, nice and tight. When his eyes snapped open, one belligerent woman was turning her mouth to the side. It wrinkled up her lips in the most amusing way, and he flashed a devilish grin at her as she tried to free her hands. No more hitting, he said in a serious voice. What's your name? Kane noticed in his peripheral vision that she was slowly tapping the toe of her shoe against the floor. His lip twitched. Pocahontas. Well, in that case, it looks like I've captured me a squaw. How's your face? She asked, shifting her hip in a way that caught his eye. Kane sniffed out a laugh. As handsome as ever? She rolled her eyes and blew a strand of hair away from her face. Let's sit down, he suggested, already moving to sit Indian style and pulling her down with him. It was too awkward to stand there like a couple of school kids holding hands. This way, they were at eye level, not to mention that he wouldn't have to dodge her temperamental knee. She reluctantly followed his lead, sitting on her left leg. Why didn't I just die? His breath caught unexpectedly at the vulnerable bend in her voice. Her brown eyes turned solemnly to the floor, and Kane immediately regretted the harsh words he'd said to her. This was just a girl who'd gotten herself mixed up with the wrong guy. Her anger and fear were understandable. What's your breed? He asked in a thick voice. Censor. He almost broke the link. You don't transmit like a censor. I'm not picking up anything. That's because I'm defective, she said, averting her eyes. Clearly it was a sensitive topic, but he'd heard of such things before. Some of them were dead receptors, unable to collect emotions. Some could transmit, but with only a vague awareness of the quality, so there were a lot of pissed-off buyers— Intolerance was an unfortunate reality among breed when it came to imperfections. Kane relaxed his grip and lowered his voice. Defective in what way? Her fingers flexed, but it only tightened their grip. Meaning I'm a dead transmitter, a one-way channel. Her jaw punched out, as if daring Kane to make fun of her. She didn't appear to be ashamed of it, just used to the intolerance. I can pick up emotions all I want, but there's no point. No one can feel me, she said, stressing the last word. That was a big deal, too. 